All right, guys. <clears throat> so today we installed these Govi lights. Um, I should have taken a picture of what how they look all combined, but four strips. Two go here. I have to find a way to mount that one. Sorry about that. Mounted that guy up down there. We'll get close ups of that in a second. Car's dirty, I know. But um, it's pretty easy to do actually. This guy, let's see if I can. I use the screws that they supply right there. Let's mount it to the back of this carpet thing. Which I haven't done here, but right here, I just mount it right here. Use these screws. It's pretty easy to do. Um, the time being, this is how I have it set up. Let's take all this crap out. So this is essentially the controller. That's obviously the power supply in there. You can turn them on and off. Yeah, that switch. Yeah, this guy will be an app. If I find my other camera, I'll show you the app on my phone. They have obviously the solid modes. And they have the music sync button. You can see it works pretty well. Got that. So if I can find that camera, show you guys what the app looks like. Uh, but yeah, you can turn it on and off from the app. You can you know, do all the color combinations and crap. So this wired in right through here. Got that tucked in there. You now all the other wires. Put this back before I forget. And then uh, this guy pops off really easily. I was kind of afraid to break it when I did it. But um, just a little force is all you need. This guy pops off. So that guy pops off. Now the wire is coming in through back here. And one goes left. And one's going right. Let me turn it back on. I guess I need that extra lighting here. But yeah. Right there, right up through there, and it goes through there. Where is it? Let me go to the front. Let me put this back real quick. But yeah, it's just a couple clips. Don't even kind of too too hard. You might break them, but you don't need a lot of force either. Let me put this back. Yeah, put that back in a second. There, tuck it all under here, goes out here. I mounted it on this piece of plastic it's right here. That's from the glove box. That seemed to adhere pretty well. I haven't had issues with that one falling. That guy, I have tried mounting it to this dashboard plastic crap. I tried mounting it to that rubber crap. So, uh, I guess we'll find out where it comes from, or not where it comes from. Where, uh, where I'll be mounting it. So if I can find the other camera, I'll show you the app, and then I'll find where to mount this stupid thing so it doesn't keep falling. So before I put this back, like I said, I just released the straps holding it. There's two of them. Pull this back, screw those guys in. That's not going anywhere. And Put the straps back. There we go. Once the straps go back, I'll find a way to tuck this guy in so you can't see it that well. And then I'll tuck that guy back in. Hold on a little too much while doing that. And yeah, that will make our way up front. So for the time being, instead I'm just gonna stick it there. I'll uh, deal with it later at some point. It's gonna be its living place. Again, wire tucked in through there, going under there, going through here, going through there. So, uh, looking for a cheap lighting mod. Not cheap, inexpensive. It's actually, I believe, pretty good quality for 20 something bucks, 25, 
or so. It's like 30 bucks or something on Amazon. I'll put the link below if I can find it. Go V lights. I'll buy some from my house now. See how that goes. There's that guy. I don't know if you guys can do anything with that. But uh, yeah. Also gonna quickly install these guys. A little fake carbon fiber, but you know, we'll dress it up. Pretty self-explanatory. That goes there. This guy will go here. That one's not staying. And then this guy will go here. Um, they do sell the middle piece, but uh, I didn't like it. It's a little too bulky, or at least for now. Um, eventually I'll get one of these guys, a custom one, these trim, chrome trim pieces, and maybe then I'll uh, get it, but for the time being, I like my little vinyl, it's different, I do need to get rid of that. Alright, so, I don't know if I could get my other camera to work, or at least to pair up with my phone to download the files, so I'm just going to do a screen record of the app. Um, they updated it since the last time I used it, so it's kind of new to me, but um, this is essentially the app. Yeah, you know, there, a little homepage there, little videos and stuff like that, your profile, you can make a profile, send if you have any issues, all that jazz. But, um... When you go to make your profile originally, or to set up your device, you're gonna hit the little plus in the corner, and you're gonna find what you're looking for. Um, let's see, I can't remember which one of these are called. Can't always type it in, it's on the box somewhere. I don't have the box with me. LED, oh, here we go. Interior car lights, I think mine was the four by 22 centimeters, so I'm gonna click that one, and it would take me through the setup process. Yeah, they have all of these different products. A thermometer, apparently. I didn't even know that. Some security stuff. They got plenty of stuff. But anyways, once it's set up, you can name it. It's connecting. I named it after my car, obviously. Change that anytime. And here you have all your settings. Brightness. You can set up your own modes. I was just messing around with this one, so I just did all that. Um, yeah, you have three different options to choose from. You have that wheel color to choose from. And then you can take a picture and it would pick up whatever color you're looking at. Pretty close to accurate. It's not, you know, 100%, but it's not bad. And then you have scenes, movie, dating, you know, all that jazz. Breathe. Um, breathe just kind of goes through all the lights, essentially all the colors. It just fades in and out and goes through all the colors. And color, you can pick one color to leave it at. White is obviously the brightest. Red is kind of on the dim side, but still not bad. But yeah, you can pick whatever color you want. You can use this wheel to pick the color. You can use this wheel, pick the temperature. So if you want white, but you don't like that cool white, you can make it a warm white, which is yellow-ish. Kind of like the old halogen bulb style. Um, and the music, you can sync it up to your music. You can choose how sensitive it is to the music changes. Right now I have it on here. And it changes every time it... Obviously I'm talking. If I go all the way down, it can barely register my voice. Um, the only thing I noticed... Actually, we'll record that in a separate video here. But um, yeah, that's pretty much the app there. Um... I think I went through everything. But yeah, you can pick for music, you can pick if you want one single color, or it can shift through the colors. But, um, yeah, that's the app.
And so obviously I'll have to, or <clears throat> that last part will be muted since, you know, can't play music because it's copyright. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I still haven't been able to mount that one, but it's also been, you know, 20 degrees and it's not exactly ideal for getting adhesive to stick, so figure that out once the weather breaks. But yeah, these have been in here now, probably a couple months now, I think, since I initially tried to make the video. It's just been, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, I have it on the breeze right now, so that's what it looks like. Like I said, just kind of fades in and out, switches between all the colors. But yeah, the only, what I was going to say about the music, it might be because of how I had it, or where I have it mounted. But at certain higher level bass tones, it seemed to not want to pick it up, but I was just testing it out and it seemed to work just fine. So, I don't know, maybe they updated something, some software, and that's how it works better. But I thought it was just because, you know, I stuck it in there, but... I don't know, but it's working just fine now, so maybe I'll use that again more often. Because once I, before when I um, uh, up the bass and turn up the volume, it wouldn't want to work. It wouldn't register that there was, you know, sounds going on, and they wouldn't go off the bass or anything, even the words. But um, seems like that's been figured out now. But yeah, so it's been a couple of months since doing awesome. This guy did kind of fall and I had to replace it, but um, not replace it, um, reattach it when the screws fell out and stuff got droopy and whatnot, but easy fix. Ignore my 20 year old shoes, I'm trying to get them to die when they want. But yeah, I definitely recommend these if you guys are looking for interior lights, um, good quality stuff for uh, 30 bucks or so. Um, I do plan on getting some for my, um, my house at some point maybe I'll try out their other products but yeah and then uh, here's what the steering wheel looks like now I did end up buying this center overlay piece as well but yeah looks a lot better than the weird silver chrome stuff now I just gotta eventually get rid of all the other weird silver chrome stuff but it's a project for another time hey guys thanks for watching my video um, if you have any questions feel free to hit me up um, yeah, see you next time.